Good morning on this Wednesday, May 11th. I'm Laura McDonald alongside Derek James. We also have Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden, Emma Mondo on traffic, and Brianna Dahlquist, our smart shopper, joining us a little bit later in the show. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Let's uh, check in with Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden. Weather's been pretty pretty mild. The breeze yesterday was great. I have a friend getting married. She actually lives in Canada, mm -hmm. coming home to Pittsburgh to get married this weekend. Mm -hmm. And she said, I need to know what the situation is on Saturday. Ooh, what time? What time's the wedding? It's not looking good. Four o'clock. <laughs> you know, the break in pause just said it all. Plan. Rain is good plan. luck on a wedding. <laughs> right. It is. Way to start with the positive. It the is. Good news first, right? Yes. Please, yes. for the love of God, don't show her this video. <laughs> yeah. Do no. not. The last yeah. thing that I'm a bride. Have to report no, back. you're going to just be like, she wasn't sure. Just, you or know, she or, wasn't or sure. Or just, she wasn't um, sure. I, what else could we do? We got to do something other. You can't ruin it's this woman's day. It's not ruining anything. If yes, she it is. is. It's I got I got married outside. You have to take that risk, you know. You you know, you know there's a chance. Yeah. So as long as she has a backup. Just she's say ready. that. There's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> there's always and a then, chance. And then and then yeah, and then yeah. just be done with Here's it. Here's the positive. It is looking a little better. It's not looking like a washout Saturday. Okay. So there is some some positiveness. <laughs> For 13 years on the Charmex school board, Rhonda Cheek is stepping down. The district one representative made the announcement that she won't run for re-election at Tuesday's board meeting. Cheek says that she's faced harsh criticism while serving on the board, especially over the last year. She says the decision was difficult. Cheek's current term ends in December. I can say that I... Cheek joined the CMS board in 2009. Tuesday was the first board meeting since the district fired former superintendent Ernest Winston. 605 and Nadar watch on crime. Police in Conover are asking for your help to find a murder suspect. 48 year old Donald Hodges is wanted in connection to the murder of Tanika Hodges. Police found her shot to death Thursday at a home on 2nd Street Southwest. Donald was last seen driving a black Nissan sedan. He's considered to be armed and dangerous. If you have any information, you're asked to call Conover police. In Winston Salem, in custody. A packaging company in Cabarrus County will soon bring 150 new jobs to the area. Governor Cooper made that announcement Tuesday. Max Solutions Incorporated is building a $27 million facility in Concord. The packaging company will take over an existing building on Dorita Road. The company hopes to open the facility by the third quarter of this year. The average salary for those new jobs will start around $67,000 a year. A reminder, you can find more local stories for where you live at WCCBCharlotte.com. There you can also live stream all of our newscasts to your desktop, laptop, or the WCCB app. A warm Nicole Madden for the latest on that. Obviously, wind is the big concern, and that's because of uh, what's happening off the coast. Yeah, we have this upper level low here. So that Now, back to you. Developing in South Carolina, two people are dead after a man kills and buries his girlfriend in their backyard. Police say the man died from a heart attack after burying the girlfriend. Will Rue talked to the woman's twin sister who says her family didn't see it coming. At 102 Tank, I'm going to have to learn to live with that. Rising time is 6-11. Still ahead, a man is accused of killing his mother to inherit a $7 million fortune. Plus, an actor glues himself to a Starbucks counter in protest for the extra charge for plant-based milk. And in viral videos, a movie theater worker reveals a trick to getting the right amount of popcorn, why those sizes aren't always what they seem. <laughs> Rising's back now with a look at some big stories happening outside the Carolinas. First, a man in Vermont is facing murder and insurance fraud charges in the 2016 death of his mother. Federal prosecutors say 28-year-old Nath Murder Carmen faces life in prison. In Arizona, a new video shows a road rage incident involving a gun. Police say it happened Saturday. The victim, a 26-year-old man, admits he cut off another driver before he noticed a black Durango swerving into his lane. He pulled out in front of the Durango to avoid getting hit. When both cars came to a stop, the driver of the Durango got out and pointed a gun at the other driver while beating on his window. He eventually walked back to his car. Police are still looking for the man driving that Durango. Actor milk options. All right, just about 617. Let's check back in with Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden. All right, Nicole, I'm all ears because you said you're going to break down the chances for rain this weekend. Yep, I am. Now back to you. 20 minutes after six now, good viral here as many of us go back to the movies. So when you go to the theater, it's an unwritten rule that you gotta buy some popcorn, but what size do you get? Hmm. Oh! Wow. 
Your total was 844. Um, this is the same class as the junior. <laughs> yep. I always get the big refillable one. What about you? I usually just get the small, mm -hmm. but I also bring the sweet snacks. Okay. You, you, you bring the candy in to mix with it? What's your mix in? Oh, peanut M&M's. Okay, With the nice. popcorn? For sure. Milk duds here. The movie theater inflation and the airport inflation when it comes to food, mm -hmm. insane. So that's why you do the refillable, and a lot of the places, because, you know, I've got the wife and kids with me, as mm -hmm. I say, hey, do you have the little kid containers? Right. And then, as soon as we sit down, <laughs> Pour them out, eat fast, eat fast. Derek, and then I, yes, I'm out. Dead, yeah, I do. And then what I do is I go back and get it refilled right away. Hey, smart. Get your money's worth. And then I don't miss any of the movie because that's the worst uh -huh. when the popcorn's out and you got to do that. So I so I get those little containers and it's a little for you, a little yeah. for you, a little for you. you eat do? a bunch during the previews. Uh -huh. Run, get the refill, still back in the seat for the open. Got the whole system. You need to make a TikTok on that. <laughs> Show everybody your secret. I should do that. That's yeah, a good idea. All right. Your time right now is 622. Ahead on Rising. Rick, get you updated on all the latest news. A check on your weatherwise forecast and traffic. But first, here's WCCB's Jamie Tucker with What's Next in today's What the Tech. That's a big tech. May 6, rising back with a live look at Waynesville. Good morning to you there in Haywood County. This is Mountain View Credit Union, courtesy of resortcams.com. The camera there. 48 degrees, your full weatherwise forecast and traffic coming your way here at 6.30. Microsoft, Apple, and Google are working on ways to eliminate one of our biggest headaches, <laughs> online passwords. They're working on ways for users to uh, be able to log in in other ways. Yeah, WCCB's Jamie Tucker shows us how to pick hard-to-guess passwords that are easy to remember. The biggest challenges we face in our online lives, and it works. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. I love you, Jamie, but no. <laughs> My brain is like ready to explode after, after that. I get what he's saying, yeah. but like it would take me. I know, five even, minutes even with this show. WCCB <laughs> NR tilde hashtag 18.5. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Uh, on rising at 6:30, an assistant football coach at Butler High School recovering after getting a heart transplant. Plus, a North Carolina bus driver being hailed a hero after swerving to avoid gunshots in the middle of a route. Thanks so much for waking up with Rising. I'm Derek James. She's Lauren McDonald, and we're getting you ready here all local until 9. We'll update you on weather and traffic with Nicole and Emma in just about five minutes. First, though, at 630, an assistant football coach at Butler High School is recovering after getting a heart transplant. Denzel Irvin is 26 years old and started experiencing COVID-like symptoms and was rushed to the hospital, but he didn't have COVID. He had a failing heart. Here's WCCB's Drew Balea. Denzel Rubalea, WCCB News. 634 and developing this morning, Casey White, the escaped inmate captured in Indiana after a nationwide manhunt, is now back in Alabama. White waived his extradition hearing during a virtual appearance Tuesday. He said he wanted to go back to Alabama to face murder charges and new charges connected to his prison escape with former corrections officer Vicki White. Casey White was caught Monday after a police chase that ended in a crash. Their plan was... God. Police say Vicki White died Monday after shooting herself following that crash. Police believe she was the mastermind behind the escape plan. Casey White is set to stand trial on capital murder charges later this summer. Another jump. Yes. President Biden says tackling inflation is his top priority. On Tuesday, the president highlighted plans to lower energy and prescription prices, raise taxes on corporations and ease supply chain issues. Inflation surged to a four decade high in March. The government will release inflation data from last month later today. A North Carolina bus driver being called a hero after swerving to avoid gunshots Monday afternoon. Eric Miller reports on the shooting and the charges parents and city leaders want to see. In Durham, oh, all our bloops, all that stuff lives there too. Oh yeah, and if you download the app, there's a weather one. Yes. You can get real time updates and it's more reliable than the one that you check on your phone. Right. It exactly. comes with it. Right? It is. Never it is. as accurate as the one that you put on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're actually forecasting there. So you are going to get that updated view, not just going to be an algorithm from your phone. So we. 41, one designer has taken distressed fashion to the next level. Later in Morning Brew, the new sneakers that look very old, <laughs> where you can get a pair, 
and how much they're gonna cost. You. Donate the money to charity <laughs> if, 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 if you're thinking about buying those. Come on. Uh, Apple says it's putting an end to the iPod after more than 20 years. Four, rising back this live look at Houston, Texas, courtesy of EarthCam.com. 77 degrees there. The reason we're talking about Houston, it's because that's where this next story is from. A man there has an enormous spear of asparagus growing in his front yard. Now, he planted it a couple years ago, and now it is two stories tall and still growing. This kind of plant, called wow. a century plant, can live for up to 30 years, but it only produces flowers once then it dies. So the man says his plant only has a few weeks left before it will die. It may not be a giant beanstalk, but folks here seem pretty happy to enjoy this front yard fairy tale while it lasts. So it doesn't produce asparagus. It's just looks it's just like one. It's just oh, it's just one big. Got I mean, it. I think you could cut it down and cut it up and fry you it, think? right? Maybe. I mean, give it a shot. I, have to I would probably <laughs> check on that first. <laughs> Don't want to poison yourself. You're, well, your, your pee would smell something fierce. <laughs> hey, did you know 50% of people have that problem and 50% don't? It's one or the other? Well, I pretty much gave away <laughs> where well, I fall I'm the same as 50, you. 50. So, okay, I don't know. Well, Maybe Nicole go. and Emma don't have the problem. <laughs> if <laughs> you like chocolate and coffee, Starbucks listen to music. Starting to lose popularity, of course, as smartphones took over. Now, Apple says its newest iPod Touch will be the final iteration of the device. Nice. I think I had two over the last 20 years. I had one. I had the hot pink iPad mini. Uh, iPod mini. Okay. I still, I still have it. Still has the songs on there, and I still what, have the what kind, of, what kind of tunes are on there? All kinds of strange things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to bring it in one day. Yeah, we we'll should do, do that. Go, get kind of do a little curated list of yeah. what was on your iPod. I think that they're going to be worth something ago. one day, though, because if they're discontinuing them, it'll Fingers be an crossed, antique yeah. one day. All right, <laughs> six forty. Give it to your grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden for a look at your weather wise forecast. I'm so handing you down think, this you iPod. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to pull it out like the record yeah. player. Yeah. There is this around. gal named Britney Spears. <laughs> now back to you. Rising time 650. If you were born before 1990, <laughs> way before. Right. I think probably Emma uh, right. probably is the only one, right? Nicole, were you born before 19? Yeah. Yes, yes, I sure was. Yeah, she was. <laughs> uh, it's the meme of this famous dancing baby in a diaper. You've probably seen it. Coming up next in your <laughs> morning brew, how old that meme is, plus the ones we use the most. And later on Rising at 7, introducing you to Thor in the Auger and Auger doghouse. With CMPD Animal Care and Control, Nicole will share his story and how you can get him. We can help. Welcome back to Rising. It is 6.54 and time now for your morning brew. Well, distressed jeans don't make sense to many people. And if you've ever worn a pair, chances are somebody probably asked you, why would you ever buy jeans with holes? Well, one designer has taken distressed fashion to the next level. Balenciaga just released a pair of shoes that are so distressed, they look like they were dug up by a paleontologist. <laughs> the sneakers have gone viral since their release earlier this week, but the pictures you see online, they don't tell the whole story. Photos on social media are actually an exaggerated limited oh. edition of the sneakers. Balenciaga only made 100 pairs of the extra destroyed shoes. And you can add a pair of them to your closet for 1850 bucks. Or you could call me and I could have Odie chew these up, Take pair of my old on ones, and I'll give them to you for free. Yeah. The non-limited edition, less roughed up versions, are being sold on the company's website for $495 or $625, depending on which style you choose. Before you said Balenciaga, I was thinking that they were the new Yeezys. Hey. I just assumed. I'm sure he'll roll out with a new uh, distressed pair, too. Yep. All right, well, next, if you were born before 1990, you've probably seen this meme, the famous dancing baby in a diaper. It's one of the Internet's earliest memes to go viral. This strange yet sassy dancing baby was first spread via email. Isn't that weird how we used to send memes? <laughs> in 1996, it made news around the United States and was even seen on yes. an episode of Ally McBeal. Yes, the ooga chaka ooga ooga <laughs> ooga chaka ooga ooga. There you I go. Can't. To, to make you feel even older, today that fake baby would be 26 years old. 
To celebrate the baby's journey into adulthood, the gift has gone gotten a new 3D rendered makeover. The new Modern Dancing Babies will be released as NFTs later this month, of course. So we're going to share our most used memes. Derek, you, you have one that you're, you're going to go first. Yep, there's mine. <laughs> that is pretty much, I think I send that to my wife at least twice a week. Yeah. At some point about something, either a <laughs> scheduling conflict situation, mm -hmm. the lack of sleep. Like, yeah. you know, when you only get like two hours of sleep and she's like, so are you a little crabby today? And then yeah. I send that back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I believe I've gotten that one from you once or twice, too. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, my favorite is also a dancing baby, but it's the real dancing oh. baby with the Crocs. Check out those moves. I just send that all the time. Good I day. don't know that one. Bad day. Really? Yeah. That's one of my favorites. All right, hey, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Well, it, it says a lot, though, because I connected with the... <laughs> <laughs> the one from 1996, way more than oh, anything else. All right, let's get a check of our weatherwise forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Nicole Madden. Hopefully, it's not that fire scene. <laughs> everything is fine. Yeah. 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 Uh, we are uh, everything. Okay. That's your latest weatherwise seven day. Back to you guys. Nicole, thank you. 658 coming up on rising at seven after 13 years. The Charlotte Mecklenburg School Board, the District One representative, stepping down. And at 730, it's a national day that we can all participate in today, especially. If you're missing out on the gym, maybe skipping the gym. Sorry, Jay Johnson. Uh, how you can celebrate eating whatever you want.